I'm Jerry Vian and we are here at the Boston Open and I am joined by Amin Kadori who is the head of the Boston Men's League and he's really been working with this uh, index, player index, and he's going to head up the, one of the APTA initiatives and try to get leagues across the country to join. So, I mean, great effort. I hear it was a big success in Boston. And can you explain what PTI is? Sure. Exactly? Yeah, thanks. So, the P PTI stands for Platform Tennis, Tennis Index, and it's it's similar to a golf handicap. Um, it's, uh, it's an algorithm based on the UTR system, Universal Tennis Rating System, which is used for junior tennis players in some colleges as well. And it's a way of basically rating players on a scale of zero to 80, zero being the best, um, 80 being for beginners. Um, and it's a way of really getting down to a granular level of different levels of play. Right, now this is, just to be clear, this is not a national ranking, this is for players only. This is for league players, yes. so club players. This is for club players. So right. we, have, we have 1,300 players in the Boston League. Yeah. Every one of them has um, a rating somewhere between zero and 80, except for Johan, who's a negative 10. We have a couple other uh, players in the negatives as well, but you know, this is a, a really good system for captains and commissioners to be able to uh, set appropriate lineups, create tournaments. Um, it's it's, a, it's a basically a, a handicap system for, for platform tennis. So that stops stacking right away. Yes. Yeah, so so the number one thing, the, the right? Number, the number one use for this, the, the most uh, immediately this, we saw the, the biggest benefit was to stop stacking in lineups. Um, very hard to do without a rating system. It's kind of one person's work versus another. Now we have a very objective way based on match data to look at lineups and we now require them to be in order. So stacking has really gone away in the Boston League. So that's been the, the most obvious and first use. And so Boston's in is in this index and then you've got other areas that have joined? So, so uh, Philadelphia um, has uh, adopted it and is using it. Um, and then a couple other leagues, I believe Baltimore, uh, Pittsburgh are using it, but only viewable by captains now as they test it out. You know, we have a lot of other leagues that are looking at it, and uh, we're hoping to bring on. So if I was a, uh, at a club in Boston and I wanted to go play a social get-together in Philly, yes. we could use this that, to have good matches? That's definitely one of the future uses of the rating system that we're actually talking to Philly about doing that, having a dozen of us who are all rated between 10 and 20 go down and play a dozen of them who are rated between 10 and 20. We know we'll have great matches. It could be a really good interleague, uh, a good good system for uh, having interleague play. And a bonus coming from me as a former teaching professional and having to pick the teams and the lineup and move people up and down, this has got to be a phenomenal tool to have actual data that it, it is. It, that's always a tough thing uh, for clubs and teams, like who should be playing on what team. This really makes it a much easier process uh, that pros really appreciate. Uh, and I, I, should, I would say the one other real big benefit for our league, we've seen tournaments really explode in our area because we can now not just have the Boston Open and, uh, and tournaments for the A-level players, we can have them for every single level in, in our league. And so now tournaments are really accessible to all thousand players in our league, not just to, to the top hundred. And that's been a real big benefit of this system. Well, I mean. Thank you, and I'm glad you're heading up an APTA initiative for the leagues across the country. And if people want information, further information, just contact Ann I would, Sheedy. I would say contact Ann Sheedy or, or contact me, and uh, we can get you set up. So go on Ann Sheedy's ex executive director for the APTA, and we'll have more information posted on the website. So thanks for your time, and thanks, thanks for you. taking this on. Thanks, Jerry.